Bugatti Chiron Sport vs. Dassault Rafale Fighter Jet Drag Race Recently, at a naval facility in Landavisio, which is located on the northwest of France, the Bugatti Chiron Sport and the Dussault Rafale Marine had a head-to-head -head with one another. Both the driver and the pilot maintained a laser-like gaze on the road ahead while waiting for the go signal. As soon as the well-known French tricolor flag was waved, the two machines vanished from view in a couple of seconds. Both of these machines represent the pinnacle of engineering, and the race was nothing like you've ever seen before. But which of these machines won the race? The Bugatti Chiron Sport is nearly unrivaled in the field of automobiles thanks to its exceptional performance and remarkable peak speed. There was even a time when a Bugatti raced head-to-head -head against a jet in 2007. For more than 110 years, Bugatti has maintained strong ties to the aviation industry. At the turn of the last century, several of the most successful Bugatti race car drivers were also pilots in the French Air Force. These drivers include Albert Devo, Robert Benoist, and Bartolomeo Mayo Constantini. Roland Garros, a great French pilot, was known for his speed both in the air and on the ground, and he was the proud owner of a Bugatti Type 18 automobile. Ettore Bugatti, the company's founder, was always impressed by his driver's bravery and technical understanding. The race car drivers could apply their knowledge and expertise from the airplane's cockpit to driving on the road. The nimbleness, lightness, and speed of Bugatti's autos piqued the interests of the pilots because it was similar to the performance of their planes. As a result, it was perfectly reasonable for Bugatti to introduce the Chiron Sport, Les Legendes du Ciel, with a production run of only 20 vehicles. This is the French luxury brand's way of paying tribute to the country's illustrious aviation industry. After France withdrew from the Eurofighter program, the French manufacturer Dassault constructed its aircraft, which was impeccably adapted to the specifications laid out by the French armed forces. This includes the capability of launching over particularly short distances. This is made feasible by the nearly tailless delta wing structure in a mid-wing configuration with canard wings that the aircraft possesses. It is a multi-role aircraft that can operate from both land and carrier bases because of its small weight and versatility. Since 2000, the French military forces have used the jet equipped with two engines. Because of its length of 15.5 meters and its wingspan of 10.86 meters, the Rafale Marine, when configured as a single-seater for the Navy, can reach a high speed of more than 1.6 Mach, which is equivalent to around 1,975 kilometers per hour. But its maneuverability is what truly sets it apart from other similar jets. To this day, about 200 Rafale aircraft have been manufactured, with 46 of those being Rafale Marine planes. The Rafale Marine is simple to fly, extremely adaptable, and quick. In addition, it has a sleek and sophisticated appearance. It's a terrific airplane, but every maneuver takes all the concentration. These two iconic machines from France share a great deal in common. In the same year that Ettore Bugatti established his company in Molsheim, France, 1909, the French Army also began employing naval aviators in the same year. The Rafale debuted in military service in 2001, the same year the Bugatti presented the Veyron 16.5 to the public for the first time. Since 2016, when Bugatti first unveiled the Chiron II, the only type of aircraft in the fleet at the Landavisio facility has been the Rafale Marine. Also, both of these extremes of their respective fields have something in common regarding the technologies and materials used. There are so many things that the Chiron Sport and the Rafale Marine have in common. They are both high-tech products. Messier Bugatti, a business whose origins can be traced back to Bugatti Automobiles in Molsheim, is responsible for developing the brakes used on the Rafale. The diameter of the brake block, which is 33.8 centimeters, contributes to its overall weight of around 27 kilos. The brake discs are subjected to a pressure of 175 bar, which is applied by 10 pistons. Even during difficult landings, the jet can stay on course thanks to an anti-skid technology designed specifically for airplanes. The 36kg alloy wheels and the 790 by 275 15 Michelin tires are shielded from overheating thanks to a specialized heat shield mounted on the brake. The front tires of the Chiron Sport have dimensions of 285 by 30 R20 ZR, while the rear tires have dimensions of 355 by 25 R21ZR. Despite their reduced size, these tires are no less outstanding. Regarding stopping power, the Chiron Sport utilizes brake discs with a front diameter of 420 mm and a rear diameter of 400 mm, respectively. At the front, eight brake pistons bite into the discs, at the back, six pistons per brake caliper. The brake calipers and the entire front end of the Bugatti, including its ingenious construction for crash testing and its rear wing mechanism, are made out of high strength aluminum, Bugatti's go to metal. The exterior, including the center and back structural components is fashioned from carbon, contributing to the vehicle's extreme stability while keeping its weight down. Not only does Bugatti embrace aviation through the materials it uses, but also through the adaptable chassis it uses. The Bugatti Chiron is the first automobile to have a completely hydraulically adaptable chassis, much like a jet's landing gear. 
Now, in the race, the Bugatti Chiron Sport took the lead almost immediately after the start of the race. The hyper sports car can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.4 seconds and accelerate to 200 km per hour in 6.1 seconds. It takes an airplane 13.1 seconds to reach a speed of 300 km per hour, and it takes 32.6 seconds to accelerate to 400 km per hour, which is the speed that the pilot of the Rafale Marine looks to equal to take off. The aircraft peaked at 165 km per hour after 150 meters and 210 km per hour after 250 meters, then lifted off after 450 meters at roughly 260 km per hour. After traveling for around 1.5 km at a speed of more than 350 km per hour, the driver of the Bugatti began his braking maneuver to play it safe. However, the Rafale had already vanished over the horizon by this point. The Chiron Sport has incredible acceleration force that comes very close to that of the Rafale. Everything you feel in the Bugatti is precisely the same as in the jet, including when applying the brakes. An incredible scene unfolded as the Rafale Marine glided over the runway beside the Chiron Sport. The outcome of France's top two machines was determined to be a tie. This was a once-in-a-lifetime race where supercar races in such proximity to the Rafale Marine. That's all from this video. What do you think of the race? And do you think Bugatti will reclaim its title of the fastest car in the world? See you at the next one.